हेलो गाइज दिस इज नितिन पवार वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन माई लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस हाउ टू डाउनलोड दी जे मीटर हाउ यू कैन यूज इट टू रन योर ए पी आई इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू सपोज यू हैव एन ए पी आई विच एक्सेप्ट अ पैरामीटर सो यू वॉन्ट टू पास मोर देन वन और लाइक थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पैरामीटर्स टू दैट ए पी आई हाउ यू कैन अचीव दैट कंसिडर दिस ए पी आई If I hit this, I'm getting the count, the gender of that particular parameter which I provide over there. If I provide Vicky, see gender is female. The probability is point nine seven that this might be a female gender you can say that okay i want to hit it gender is male probability is 1 so you want to parameterize this name so how you can do it in your jmeter so first of all open your jmeter by default you will have the test plan under that you can add your thread thread group okay give it a name under the thread group now what you want to add you want to add the config element for the csv data set because you will be saving all the details in your csv whatever you want to pass to that name and then one by one they will get executed so how you can achieve that create a file save it under your bin folder the jmeter bin folder okay so i have created a file i have saved it under the bin now how to call it so first of all file name it will ask you whether that file is present so under bin my file name is name i'm okaying it file on encoding variable name what is the variable name name is there you can see here the name is there is variable name non empty yes is there any delimiter in the file suppose you want to parameterize two columns suppose your api is accepting 2 3 4 then you can decide those by comma in the header and that way you have to provide that value it's a comma delimiter or the tab delimiter in this in my case i don't have any separator so allow quotes suppose your file your names are in the quote also in single quote or double quote if you are providing that way you can make it as a true or false currently i'm making false stop thread at the end of the file yes or true you can provide those details like that so this is how you will fetch the data from your file csv file or any other files okay once you fetch the data now what you need you need api so you will go to the add sampler http request so in http request you can provide the name like gender or genderize whatever you want to provide over here we know that so https and this is the server name so here https b server name or the ip this is the name it is the request get so what i want to do i want to parameterize the ip so in parameters i need to add the parameter so here what i will say i can say name in what value it should have it should have the parameterized value for that name and how you can provide that you say name 
for the same name so now you have provided the name and you parameterize it now what you want to do you want to add the listener so that you can see that result tree so i'm adding view result tree so this way we have created a thread group or user group which will can fetch the data from your file and pass it to your api sample as a parameter okay so consider consider that you have multiple apis so how you can add more apis to it to your test plan you clicked on the test plan you say add thread group so that way you can have multiple apis sets and you can execute simultaneously once you execute your test plan but in this case suppose i want to explicitly execute only this test group so what i can do i will click on the other thread group right click on it you can disable those right click on it it disabled so this way what will happen only this thread group will run so now i will show you so in this way we have 11 names but here under thread group what i am saying number of threads users one so what will happen only first only the first one first name will get picked up not all others because we are running only for the one and we are not looping it also so i'll show you this example and then i'll show you how you can increase those threads also so if i run this it get successful now you can see that green is like api got successful and response data you can see that mail gender mail name so why we got this error so i'll just explain you here in the csv so ignore the first line if you make false so it will consider this first one as a your value also so in this case what i want i don't want this first i want this as a header so i want to skip this and then start from the second so how i can do that here ignore the first line i said true and you say that previously what will happen it consider my name as a name so that's why we got that response so now if i what i will do i will clear this so that we don't have any request over there so if i again run this now see the look which was our name it got picked up and we got the proper response like the probability of 0.99 gender is male the count now suppose you have thousands of parameters or thousands of values in your file so how you want to execute one by one so how you can do that under thread group you can provide those values so currently here suppose i have 11 values so if i said that 11 users or 11 threads i want to execute one by one so i provide that 11 over there okay this is the already populated if you don't delete this or if you don't clear it it will stay there under that 11 more requests will get populated so let me show you that if i run this see look the nitin nikhil sushmita rekha sanjeev like that all your values are passed as a parameter to your api so this is how you can pass using the csv dataset config you can pass any values to your api using the parameters so this is one way if you are 
API is accepting in the headers as a parameter, then this way you can provide it. Otherwise, suppose if you have a body and in that body, you can also, if your request has the number of parameters or like body, you can define that way also. Giving this example, take your body under that body, provide the name and in front of that, provide the dollar sign and define that variable and you need to in the csv you need to provide all the variable names whatever you are using in your api sample if you have any questions on this do let me know i'll try to answer those questions so in this video we learn how you can make a thread group and how you can parameterize your api okay Thank you so much.